Hi, this is Jacek Laskowski and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a profile of the latest release of IBM WebSphere application server version 8 to be used in IBM Rational Application Developer. A profile is a directory. It defines a runnable WebSphere application server instance so you can run your enterprise Java applications. You will have to create at least one profile to run a server. No profile means no servers. There are two tools to create a profile, a GUI application called WebSphere Customization Toolbox and command line tool called Manage Profiles. Let's see WebSphere Customization Toolbox in action. With Rational Application Developer installed, there are a few menus you can use to launch different tools that come with the product. There is the IBM Software Delivery Platform menu with IBM Rational Application Developer 8. There is IBM WebSphere menu with IBM WebSphere Application Server v8.0 submenu, where you can find tools with Profile Management Tool, which is the former name for the current WebSphere Customization Toolbox. There is my IBM installation manager for launching the tool and the programming and system tools menus with a couple of shortcuts to the different Russian application developers auxiliary tools available. Let's use the WebSphere customization toolbox which has formerly been known as profile management tool. Press create button to start the process. Choose Application Server and click Next twice until you will be presented Administrative Security Panel. Enter Administrative Username and Password and press Next button. Review the settings and once verified, submit with the Create button. It will finally run the actual process of creating a profile with a single standalone application server. It takes a while, but for the sake of the recording I had slightly speed it up. When in the profile creation complete panel, uncheck the launch the first steps console checkbox and press finish button. You can see the profile being an application server profile that's created in the profiles app as rv01 subdirectory. Exit the tool. Run IBM Rational Application Developer. After all, we are interested in developing enterprise Java applications and RAD is the tool of our choice for the cause of this and the following screencasts. Russian Application Developer is Eclipse-based tool that will ease our efforts. At startup, RAD will recognize the just created application server, so all we have to do to register it is to press Next button, provide the administrative username and password, and finally press Finish. Before closing the Welcome tab, it's recommended to review what's available in this tool as far as documentation is concerned. There are different sections that will surely suit most of our learning needs, despite its bias towards IBM products, specifically RAT and WAS. It's highly informative with regard to the Java Enterprise Edition 6 spec. We will now run the server and fire up its administrative console. Notice how fast WAS 8 is. It took merely half a minute to boot itself up. When you see the message server server1 open for e-business, you can be sure 
it's really started up. Under Administration menu, you can find Run Administrative Console. That's the easiest way to launch the console without knowing what port the console listens to. Accept the warning about invalid certificate and admin console window shows up. It looks like there is a bug in the tool that's exhibit itself when the window is maximized. Having it maximized, there is no way to enter the administrative user ID and password. You will have to rerun the administrative console and enter the credentials before maximizing the window. Turn off the settings to show the console when standard out and error change so it won't bother you too often. You can confirm that the instance of Web3 application server is really the version 8 and that there is a server called server1 available. That's the server the console runs on, which is the simplest deployment environment specially suited for development. Exit RAT. Special thanks go to Łukasz Rybka for his help shaping the final version of the screencast. Thanks Łukasz.